Okay, so here is an English primer or primer, depending on how snobby you are. Uh, I hope this is helpful information for a wide variety of learners. Um, a lot of people might think that it's just at at, a, at the outset that you know it's going to be remedial um, or you know review, but I think it's going to be helpful for a lot of learners um and i hope to move briskly and i hope to be as thorough as i as i possibly can so let's get started so i'm my guess is some students who might be interested in this class uh might be in school um high school potentially college probably maybe middle school high school um but some some college and and some you know maybe they just for enrichment reasons um just just to refresh uh as adults um i know i'm i'm learning a lot of stuff right now where i feel like ah you know i should have maybe studied this years ago but it's it's nice to keep learning you know uh uh, uh lifelong learning i think is 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 a plus as as um i'm sure most people would agree with but the focus here yeah, that I'm going to emphasize on is effective communication. Um, as <clears throat> as an adult, looking back, um, yeah, I mean, you know, you if you're a student, you want to try to get good grades. You know, there are, um, you know, strategies and whatnot to try to, you know, get the best grades. <clears throat> and, um, but this focus, this course, I'm really going to focus on being an effective communicator and uh, not necessarily focusing on perfect grades or super high test scores. <clears throat> However, I do believe that continuing to learn, working diligently, working hard, etc., your scores and grades should naturally improve. Um, and with continued support and instruction, with classes like this and, you know, and or obviously many others, including the classes that you're in, um, scholastically, I think, you know, I think, you know, paying attention and working diligently and and uh, and all of that really trying to give your all um whether it's just a homework assignment like a basic homework assignment or an exam like you're really trying to give it your all really trying to focus and really trying to to um to to push yourself and to to to, to be competitive so i do have another class and um and whatnot where i do focus on you know trying to garner high marks uh, in your classes, um, but this this course is not going to focus on that. It's mostly going to focus on effective communication. And so, you know, the the obvious is if you're getting the highest grades but you communicate poorly, you may be in trouble, even if it doesn't seem like it. Um, you know, being able to communicate well is helpful outside of academics. You know. Um, you're talking about relationships, you're talking about friendships, you're talking about family, you're talking about, you know, just your day to day life. So, you know, jobs, etc. So, you know, uh, reading, writing, speaking and listening, you know, all four of these are very important uh, just in terms of day to day life in any culture, any walk of life, anything that, you know, just I, I know it's pretty obvious, but I just want to reiterate that effective communication should always be the mission when you're trying to learn, um, you know, something like we're learning, you know, with English and and uh, and uh, communication, etc. But just in general, you know, always trying to improve as a communicator. It's not a negative, you know. You don't want to shy away from it. And some people, you know, um, uh, you know, might. You know, not want to be front and center, you know, a lot, which is fine. But I think that trying to be an effective communicator, reading, writing, speaking, and listening, I think cannot hurt you in your life. Um, and I believe uh, they're very important skills in any career path or any any um, anything that you want to build, you know, generally, right? A career, um, a relationship, etc. So. We all have a unique voice. You may be told that every essay has been written, every story has been told, 
um, by people who may be a little bit snarky or cynical or they're, you know, quoting Ecclesiastes, you know, everything is new. There's nothing new under the sun, um, which may indeed be true. Um, and uh, not to bash Ecclesiastes because, uh, and actually just to pull that in, essentially, you know, my thoughts on on that you know on just that notion that we've seen in a lot of books and a lot of um you know essays and articles and editorials is that even though everything has been done before it hasn't been done in your voice i mean I, I think i read somewhere that as far as writing there are like eight basic stories you know like a revenge tale and i, I don't know there's like eight stories and yet you know shakespeare's written umpteen sonnets and plays you know comedies tragedies etc and you know you know and people just they write you know john grisham and stephen king and um you know dean coots and just just um pe people write uh joyce carol oates oates you know philip roth so it, you know the most important thing to remember is that writing is an extension of ourselves and our voice and no one can tell the exact same story that you can and i know this seems kind of hokey but it's true just reminding people of that of the fact that even though you might not think that your perspective or what you're saying or your your thoughts on a subject matter are 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 worthy of sharing um you know if it illuminates you know truth if it illuminates beauty if it illuminates you know uh nuance about a particular issue topic you know social um something social or political or uh, personal or has to do with uh you know romantic relationship to, to connect with somebody else i mean there's you have to remember that we have all have a unique voice and just to be confident in being able to share that um i work with a lot of students who come from other countries and I remind them, you know, uh, you know, some of them may or may not, um, especially people who come here for a short amount of time, even adults, where they might be studying here for a couple of years, and then they're going to go back to their home country, or they're here for a couple of months, and then they're, you know, and, and they want to learn some English, and then they're going to go back. And, they, you know, they f sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes they feel a little bit like, uh, you know, like a little bit embarrassed, because they're like, oh, well, I'm this age, and... You know, people are nine years old and they're speaking so much better than I am. And I'm just saying, look, most Americans, for example, um, we don't speak a second language as well as they speak a second language. I mean, I know a lot of us maybe study Spanish or Japanese or French in in school, but, you know, I think that they, you know, a lot of these, and I don't want to, like, compare broad swaths of groups of people, but I just... It's sort of a point that I want to make, essentially about, you know, you have a unique voice, and whether or not you, you know, don't speak perfectly, or it's a little bit choppy, or, you know, you're having a challenging time, for example, with saying your your R's, and that's just because of your muscles. Your muscles haven't trained, been trained when you were a kid, to say the same sounds that we might say in our culture and our language but it's probably the same thing in other for us for me to learn mandarin for example or me to learn spanish um like really really well and, and you know i'll probably never speak like unbelievably fast as 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 someone who grew up in that culture um but that doesn't mean that i don't have anything to say or that doesn't mean that what i don't have to what i have to say is not worthy and the big encouragement that i have that i always make um with regards to these students who i'm working with um in those demographics is that number one is you probably speak english much better than so many people uh speak a second language um just culturally um because they're just just really aggressive a lot more aggressive just as a as a culture at trying to learn english um uh than we might be at trying to learn a different language you know um but secondly is it's up to the listener it's very important that the listener listen 
that they want to listen and that you're not skipping over somebody just because they have a thick accent or you know or they, they don't pronounce his words as clear as clear you, know, you should try to listen and just love the humanity that is coming out of this person um and that's trying to communicate with you so your voice is unique tell your story your own way and just really keep that in mind that no matter if you're limited um in terms of you know accent or you know uh just the way somebody talks even if someone has a stutter i used to have a bad stuttering problem i still stutter a little bit i used to be really bad and um you know the king's speech was a phenomenal film and i really resonated with that film um but i just kept talking and i just you know kept you know plodding along and, and kept trying and, and and really tried to go towards my fear and towards you know where the darkness was because i knew that that was that's a very important um you know i, I wanted to be a decent communicator and I, I you know so i really worked diligently on it as i continue to so um but yeah it's really important i just i cannot reiterate this enough guys i know it sounds hokey but we all have a unique voice and we should be very vocal and be very uh excited um and eager to share what we have to say and also to listen to each other and that I will wrap up this lesson with that and hope to see you guys at the next video.